Thank you. I welcome members to the first meeting in 2015 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. And as always, ask members to switch off mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is instruments subject to negative procedure. The conservation of salmon, annual close time and catch and release Scotland Amendment Regulations 2014, SSI 2014, 357. The purpose of this instrument is to amend the conservation of salmon, annual close time and catch and release Scotland Regulations 2014 to amend an error in the schedule to these regulations. The error was reported by the committee following its consideration of that instrument on the 9th of December. In laying this amendment instrument, there has been a failure to observe the requirements of Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010. The instrument will come into force on the 9th of January 2015, meaning the requirement to leave a minimum of 28 days, excluding recess dates, between laying and coming into force has not been complied with. The committee may, however, wish to find the breach acceptable in this instance because the Scottish Government is seeking to make corrections to satisfy the committee's report on the previous instrument. Does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the Parliament's attention on reporting ground J, as there's been a failure to observe the requirements of Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act? And does the committee agree to report over that it finds the breach of this rule to be acceptable? Agreed. Okay. <coughs> no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Freedom of Information Scotland Act 2002, Scottish Public Authorities Amendment Order 2014, SSI 2014, 354, nor on the Victims and Witnesses Scotland Act 2014, Prescribed Relatives Order 2014, SSI 2014, 360. Stuart. Um, just on the Freedom of Information uh, Order that's before us, convener, I return to a subject I've uh, made comment on before. Uh, this is an order which does something very simple, which is to update a list that is in, uh, uh, in uh, an act. Um, it's perfectly clear from reading the updates that the list is now in a state of considerable uh, update. Uh, if I look at uh, 2D, it says remove entry 62ZZA, which tells you the state that this list has been amended to over a considerable period of time. Um, 2C talks about entry 94, which gives us, without going back to the, the, what the list may look like, an indication of how long the list is. And I do think that it would be much more helpful if more often than appears to be the case here, uh, the list were to be republished in total, because I suspect it would defy the wit of any lay person uh, to go through the huge number of amendments that have been to this list to work out what today's list looks like. And I would just simply like to put that in the record in the hope that this might be noticed and responded to. Okay. I have to say I'm going to have to agree with you because I don't think it's about wit, it's just about doing unnecessary work. Um, is the committee content with these instruments, please? Content. Thank you. Gender item two, instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014, commencement number five, and saving provision order 2014, SSI, SSI 2014, 353. The instrument fails to commence section 81.4 of the Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014 for the purpose of bringing section 17A6 of the Schools Consultation Scotland Act 2010 fully into force. The instrument also fails to commence section 81.9 of the 2014 Act insofar as it is not already in force. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground? Thank you. The committee may wish to note, however, that the Scottish Government has laid a further commencement order, also before the committee today, to commence both of these provisions in the required manner. Both commencement orders come into force on the 9th of January 2015. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Glasgow Commonwealth Games Act 2008, Repeal Day Order 2014, SSI 2014, 356, nor on the Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 6, Order 2014, SSI 2014, 365, to which, of course, I've just referred. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yes, content. Thank you very much. Um, and we are, I'm sure as a committee, we would want to note that the latter of those two instruments was uh, to deal with the issue we just mentioned and be grateful that it was timiously rectified. I think that completes the agenda. And I draw this meeting to a close. Thank you.